In this video, we are going to read the comments from the Firebase database and refresh that comments feed in real time. So this is uh, this is going to be a pretty exciting one. The comments feed is a pretty cool thing. And we got quite a bit to do, but we can copy and paste a lot of code, so that's good. So to start off, we got to go into our photo model, and we're going to need to add a list of comments. So private list and do comment comments. And then, of course, I can close this. Let's, uh, what do we need to do? We need to delete our default constructor. So, so get the new new default constructor. We're pressing Alt Insert on that and do some returns there. And then we need to add the getter and setter method. So Alt Insert getter and setter. And I think that's pretty much all we need to do. I don't think we need to change anything else tags yeah okay so we can close the photo model and so basically what we want to do is we need to do a couple of things number one is we need to read the comments but number two is every time there's a new comment inserted we're going to need to refresh our list of comments and that could come from me or could come from some other user who's also viewing that photo if we want it to be able to refresh in real time so we need to add an uh, an on child event listener to that particular node, that that particular photo node. And so what we're going to do is we're going to build a big query and we're going to put it inside of our setup Firebase auth, list, uh, auth method and it's going to be listening to that node. And a lot of the code we can actually get from the profile fragment. So let's go into profile fragment here. And I already had it copied because I was just looking at it. And so this inside of the setup grid view method here, we can copy everything from the query. So this whole query all the way down to the on the on canceled method copy that whole thing and we can close profile fragment and now inside here inside of our setup firebase auth method we can just paste that down below our auth listener and we can delete a whole bunch of stuff so we can delete everything to do with the grid oops everything to do with the grid yeah all that and we can delete the likes, we're not going to need that. I'm going to leave this uh, this little loop here because we're going to actually need that in the future for getting the likes for the comments. So I'm just going to comment out that likes loop right here. And so to start, we'll change this to uh, our database reference. And now, so this query is going to be the one that's going to re-query the photo so that we can get those new updated comments. So uh, now we're going to be interested in the photos node. So we go photos and then we're going to be interested in looking for a particular photo ID. So we can go dot order by child and this is where we're gonna put our get string r dot string dot field name photo ID. And then we wanna look for equal to the m photo dot get photo ID. And so we just need to add one thing down here. We're gonna to need to get the list of comments. So let's copy this all this commented out stuff here and I'm gonna paste it and let's uncomment it. And we're going to change this to a list of comments. So we'll change this to comments list. Comment, comment, and comment list dot add. Okay, and we we'll change this to a comment, and this to a comment, and this to comment. Just changing all this stuff to represent comments. And this, of course, is also comment. And so we need to get the user ID and we need to get, I think, just just the comment to get comment and set date created, get date created, and that should be good. And so now this will return a list of all the comments. Now we just need to add it to our new photo. So we can go photo.set comments and we add our new comments list. And now we ha we'll have the new updated photo. And then we just want to set it to what our global photo is. So you can just do m photo equals photo. And so now we'll have our new globally updated photo. And so that's great, but how are we going to trigger this? Because currently the only way it's going to trigger is the first time we call setup Firebase auth, which is not what we want. We want it to be listening for whenever a change is made to the node, it will update that photo. So we can add an uh, on child event listener for that particular node. So we do my ref dot child get string r dot string dot uh, database name photos it's actually going to be pretty much the exact same as what we just typed down there 
and then so m photo get photo id so we're looking at a particular photo whoops and child this one's going to be the field comments so string field comments and then we add our add-on child listener so new child event listener so if you didn't see what i did there i just did type new and then capital C and the interface for child event listener popped up. I can do it again if I did it a little too fast. So new and then capital C you can see child event listener. So I just click that and put a semicolon down here. I think I got rid of a bracket. There we go. Uh, so that's all good. This is all messed up. So now we have our child event listener. This thing is going to get called whenever there's a change made to the comments node inside of that particular photo that's the only time so we'll we can just add it to the on child added override method here so we'll scroll down and copy our whole query and i'm just going to cut it and i'm going to stick it inside of on child added just like that so now we have that query inside of our on child event or on child uh, event listener yeah and just in case you didn't know this is going to get called immediately as soon as the fragment is activated and then also moving forward anytime there's a change made to the node. So inside here is actually a good spot to also call our setup widgets method which I haven't made yet so we're just going to go up and create that right now. Just going to scroll up to the top, go right below on create and do private void setup widgets. Oops, I didn't mean to do capital. And I'm just going to copy all this stuff so uh, the comment, first comment, all the way down to just below return view, getting all that, putting that into our setup widgets method. And so now we just need to add all of our comments, our new comments to our comments list. But we're actually going to run into a, an issue here because we need to display this first comment every time. And if we call setup widgets in our setup Firebase auth method right here, it's actually going to, the first comment's going to get added to the end of the list, end of the comments list, which is not what we want. So to fix that, what we can do is actually just call, do all this stuff down in our setup Firebase auth method. So let's grab the first comment stuff, including the comments dot add the first comment. And I just cut it and now I'm going to scroll down and we're going to go down into where we get our comments here. And let's see, so we have our comments list, and then we want to add our first new comment right here. So we create our first comment, that's good. And I'm going to delete this comments list because we don't really need this anymore. We're just going to use this comments list, so I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to go down in here and add the comments, and then add the comments list. So now that first comment will be the very first one added to the list, and every one after will be the ones that were added to the photo by other users. And we just have a couple more steps and we're almost done. We just need to call our uh, setup widgets method down here. And we need to change this field to field comments. And we need to make sure that we clear our comments list. So we have a, we're dealing with a fresh list every time. So we just do comments.clear and that will make sure to empty up the list. And that should be good. So let's uh, run it and see what we're working with. Okay, let's go to the profile and choose a photo we've been looking at this one go to the comments cool so it's getting the comments we have the first one getting in there correctly we have our first comment and so now let's try to post a new comment so i don't know it's september 9th so i'm just going to post september 9th hit post and there you go you can see it updates in real time and we can go back and go back to the comments and it, it's there Cool, so everything at this point looks like it's working exactly as it's supposed to. In the next part, I think I'm going to get started on the followers and the following system. Since uh, this the course is getting really long and I'd like to keep it under 100 episodes if I can, there's no way I'm going to be able to complete all the features that Instagram has. Like, I'm going to skip, I think I'm going to skip the likes on the comments. Um, probably not going to do the screen, this screen where it shows notifications uh, or searches. And I think that most of you probably want to see like how to follow and how to get a following and then also display that kind of stuff on the main feed. So that's probably what I'm going to be, what I'm going to be working on just because I know that that's what most people want. And I want to try and it's getting too long. I want to move on to something else. And yeah, so I might come back to it later, but for now, probably going to move on to something else. 
So in the next one, we will probably get started with the followers and following system and then work on displaying stuff to your main feed, post to your main feed. So I'll see you guys in the next video.